Oh, rendering, the most satisfying part when easing the render button. Have you ever wondered why rendering takes so long? Today, we're going to take a look at how does rendering actually works. We're going to take a look at offline rendering and not real time. So every 3D scene has some objects and a camera. The camera will be what we will use to actually render a frame or an image as a render. The camera has basically a position in space and therefore here will have a cube render to it. We send to each pixels of the camera some rays. Here in blue, the rays is basically colliding to infinity. Let's take a ray that intersect with an object. That means that you send the ray in red right here and eventually the ray will collide through an object in the scene here being the cube. For every pixels you send the ray and when a ray hits an object you will send a bunch of other rays mostly in the shapes of hemisphere. All of those sub rays needs to hit a point when a light source is emitted. Here is the light source then we s intersect with a cube and send a bunch of rays and the green one will hit the light source. That means that you now have to process the thing. Another use case will be to send the ray on a plane and then shoot many other rays. Let's say you have a cube that basically reflects some spotlight on it because it has a reflectance. Once the ray from the plane intersects with the cube, the spotlight emits a source of light. All those ye yellow uh, rays will basically be computed to be reflected onto this simple intersect point on the plane. 